This channel is devoted to encouraging its viewers to do it by yourself. Gardening, landscaping, culinary, and other God-given talents create an absolutely invigorating, peaceful, and a uniquely nurturing and holistic lifestyle. Living spaces, large and small, can benefit from these budget-friendly tasks and projects. So take this journey with Ms. Marvin. You have one life to live, so engage in it with passion. Good morning, folks. Today we are going to be talking about, well, I have a surprise you think it's about the seeds, but it's not. <laughs> it's partially about the seeds. These are fall, these well, it's really a whole bunch of seeds because I ordered a whole bunch of seeds and everything. But I have a major surprise for you that y'all inspired me. And uh, here are a lot of my other seeds that I have. I have so many seeds gone on us. I don't even know. Look, uh, I have survival heirloom seeds. I got seeds I got from the grocery store. Seeds I ordered online. Okay, just all kind of kind of stuff but anyway i'm gonna leave this right here for a while and uh what we can really do i'm gonna show you something and i'm, I'm particularly take the wrong word about this but I, I want you to see <laughs> i'm gonna walk i'm gonna walk through here and uh, i would say close your eyes i would say that but look <laughs> look what Ms. marvin has done look at this Look at this. It took two days. Okay. It took two days to, to get to get this done. So you see my rooster right here. Alright. This is metal art. Uh, all of this is metal art. I didn't get it at the same time. And these pieces, like I said, some of them are several years old, or uh, some of them are like 10 or 15 years old. But the most important thing is this. This episode has to do with uh, designing or creating your own farm style uh, grow bag veggie garden. Okay, so that's what it's gonna be about. The different time I change now. What I did, these look like this, rusted like this. And these, I've had these for like 20 years. I got me some yellow paint. First, I sprayed them white. White didn't look that great. Then I, I sprayed them yellow. But prior to that, let's look at this. We're going to have some photos, the four photos. This is what it's finding. This looked like a total wreck, a mess. And I was so embarrassed because I think I might have seen it halfway one time. But what I decided to do was come in here and straighten all of this out. Now, I've been collecting things no, for the grow bag come on, put this on it. and i'm going to show you how we put this together so if you want to do something like this i'm going to tell you step by step we have photos to show that i got these from different places and you may say okay what are they sitting on all right these are pallets okay the, these are pallets underneath here that when i got in a bunch of soil, ordered trucks to bring in a bunch of soil, bags of soil, compost, you name it, and it was like 40, 50 pounds or whatever thing, and they were stacked up. I had a whole bunch of these, and I figured, what should I do with them? So I painted them, all right? Now, this, you want to say, okay, what, what kind of stakes are these? Look, these are 36-inch wooden stakes. That's what these are. This is chicken wire because I wanted something that would be reminiscent of my childhood. And uh, I dealt with chicken wire one time when I had chicken pox. My grandmother threw me into a, a chicken coop and threw chickens over my head. Now I'm supposed to help get rid of, the, get rid of chicken pox. Help it. Help do something with it. But uh, anyway, so I put the steaks in the ground and then I rolled out the chicken wire all around here. We move the grow bags over here. And so when you, um, so some of them have seeds that I just planted. Uh, for instance, you can look and see. You have broccoli, and that's what that 
look like from this uh, selection I had up there. We have, these were just planted maybe a couple of days ago. Um, bush beans and rows of bush beans. And like I said, I had my strawberries, which I could talk, have another segment on that later. The strawberries, I done those up and put those over here. I've been trying to find the sun because as you know, you look on my video about shady gardens, I wasn't getting enough sun for the fall. So that's why I had to follow the sun. I always follow the sun when you're, when you're planting, okay? I always follow the sun. <laughs> it's like my grandbaby, Chloe, she's transplanting, uh, Chloe's transplanting uh, some vegetables right now. And uh, I think that's fun. Now, we talked about the grow bag, but she's not have to this. Containers too. All oh, my soil pretty much is the same. Where I mixed up uh, leaf mold, um, compost, garden soil, and different things. Now, let me show you something. I showed you. You can buy these grow bags. You can buy them in in a um, in a package, and this has four. Um, and they come in sizes, five gallon, five gallon, 10 gallon, 20 and 15 gallons. Important information for you. Whether you have one pallet or two pallets, even if you don't have any pallets, um, if you get yourself some cardboard, okay? If you were to get yourself like for instance, Cardboard. I have some over here. Oh, yeah. When you look down at this ground, don't feel sad for me. It's fine. When you look down at the ground <laughs> and you see all these tree roots, and you say, Oh, look, oh, Miss Marva, wow, tree roots. <laughs> yeah. And come over and look at this. I've had to dig out my raised beds almost each season. I put everything under the sun before I put my soil and different things down. And you see the roots? Look at these. These roots are coming from those bigger things right there, right there. And they come in and they soak up the nutrients out of your soil. If you have any ideas that would help me, Marvel, put them in the comments. If you want to help me, put them in the comments. Now, you say, why don't you have anything down here to keep it from being muddy? You look up at the trees. I believe in using what I have. All this straw is going to fall all around here soon. So instead of having to rake it up and put it over in the beds, I'm just going to let it fall. I have put wheat straw. I put all kinds of things down here. I'm going to wait and paint this once the things are falling. The other thing is this. Now, look. You know what I'm saying? That is that's what the palette, that's what I was talking about. The palette's where I painted those. That's what's over there. Oh, and back to what we were talking about over here. Before I finish up, if you want to have your own garden bed, this is how simple it is. Get you some cardboard from where you're getting um, packages delivered. Put your cardboard down like this, right? Put your cardboard down. It doesn't matter what the size. Okay, now I'm going to show you real fast. I'm going to show you. Then, you go get you some of your grow bags, like this. You get your grow bags, and just put your grow bags that you buy, all right? The ones that we were telling you in the packages, line your grow bags up around, around, if on the top of grass, you just pile up your, um, pile this up, put those down, put your soil in there, plant your seed. Folks, it's that simple. All right? Now, one more time. <laughs> Let's just look at this because I'm so proud of this. And then we will do an update to let you know. Oh, one more thing. Let me let you see this. One more thing. One thing. These onions, you know how you buy green onions in the grocery store? These are onions that I planted that were left over at the bottom of the uh, onions that I bought in the grocery store. And I put them in there. Sure enough, they're growing. And uh, like I said, if you like mustard, those do fine too. So, 
I think we covered everything for this. And when I finally, after putting different things together, you're talking about something that put a smile on my face. <laughs> when you do something, you work hard with it, and you keep at it, and you keep at it, and you finally get it right, it brings joy to your heart. And so that's what I want you to feel too. Have a reason to get up in the morning and have a reason to smile and be happy. Oh, this one last thing. When I had to get an air conditioner in, I told a guy to leave this because the box was on here. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. Put some blue paint on it as an accent. And so that's, that's how that works. So if you have any question about anything that I did, let me know. And one last thing. Then I'm gonna give you a tip. You come over in the greenhouse. Wait, I gotta straighten up so I can actually have room. I started using, I just ordered it. Something, something called Coop Poop. That's a natural slow release. And let me show you the results of that. Cause I got, I, I, I tried different things, but uh, like for this, perlite, I mixed that up. I always mix something called coarse perlite into my cell. And I said, have different things. And then if you see peat moss. But let me let me show you something before we go. Look. Look at my bush beans. Look, these are called Capitana bush beans. And once again, that's a uh, elevated container. I'll garden. And so if you something you want to, if you don't want to bend over, Get some elevator, put the same kind of soil mixed with something mm -hmm. and put it in there. So I'll be picking those soon. But let me show you the result of, of using some of those. And you see the peppers, they still grow. And because this area in here wasn't getting a lot of sun, that's why I asked God, what can I do? And I decided to have that area over there. So you see peppers here. You see my peppers? Peppers here from the spring. And uh, here's some more beans that I grew. Um, so that's pretty much it. I, I just want you to know that um, I'm going to be working on all of this. And uh, nothing is ever complete. I'm going to be doing cottage garden. But do a thing, do a thing. And so mine is home cellar. And uh, so here's my little cellar that I love. But all of this has been straightened up thanks to you. All right? So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. <laughs> I sure, I sure did. So, uh, once again, be blessed. Thank you for watching this video. Check out some of the other videos that, that I've done. Well, I haven't done a lot, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. So, uh, be blessed. And um, take care of yourself. And when you think about me, think about me enjoying, enjoying these. All right. And that's something you can do too. Mix it yourself and put some seeds in the soil. And grow your own food. Learn how to take care of yourself. All right. So I didn't tell you the word for the day. Um, the word for the day is joy. Okay. Joy is a divine idea. It's different from happiness. It's more elevated. And it's something that's going to be there. Not like happiness that just comes and goes. So have joy in your heart no matter what your circumstances and be thankful and grateful um and bye thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe share with all your friends and hit the notifications button we'll see you again next time